sit in the driving position, very forward facing driver orientation, typically what BMW is known for, but again, just like slightly shifting. And you can imagine if the car would have doors, you know, if we form the door panel slightly different, we can create a very comfortable kind of um, facing each other uh, position. The new steering wheel, it has an LED light ring. Uh, this uh, was important to us to kind of think about uh, the takeover mode. Basically, when, when the car is saying like, now you need to drive again, we can put uh, a different light feature in here. A uh, simple switch left right for autonomous driving um, and, and self-driving and uh, basically when you're in self-driving mode we would minimize the information on the screen. Right now it is uh, in, in, uh, in auto drive mode so we use the full real estate and you feel you see already the air touch sensors when I move my hand in space. Where, where are the sensors? The sensors are all oh, it's, oh, okay. They are all around and they basically measure my movement and the submenu comes up when I hover um, a little bit over one tile. Many, many people obviously ask, like, when can this come and uh, what's the time frame and when can I buy this and so on. I think if we, the auto industry, at least uh, in a concept uh, way, keep on, keep on creating these futuristic things that have such tremendous mechanical challenges mm -hmm. of turning seats completely around, what does that say for seat belts? Correct. Just like uh, um, retracting steering wheels completely, it, it, it kind of it's just not possible. And then it's a 2030 or 2035 concept, right? And it will not, nothing will be possible in, in five years. So we have to kind of see what we can do with simple seat adjustment, the mechanics we have already in the car.